This vlog actually is going to be short of me and I'll be sharing a little bit of daily grind this week, Thursday, last week should I say. I want to play you a little piece of daily grind guys, but before we do, all is well here at the, at the Stephen, Rory Alex Stephen household. Praise God for that. And um, we still haven't ventured out much, we've gone out once or twice, but really at this stage we haven't ventured out because of the pandemic. But all of Austria is pretty much back to work, pretty much. Uh, they're just finalizing with regard to the schools and then everyone will be back to school as well. Universities closed this year, so Corona will continue teaching online in our little study upstairs, which was our bedroom, but we turned it into a Zoom room <laughs> for online teaching. So everything's online teaching. Today, uh, I'm going to spend some time with the family, so I will be throwing over to myself doing daily grind. It's basically the first 10 minutes of Thursday's daily grind, and just to let you guys know, you can get my daily grind as a podcast Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday um, on Spotify. Just search Rory Alec Daily Grind and you'll find it on Spotify, or soon it'll be on iTunes, it's not quite yet, it's on Google Podcasts and various other podcast platforms and of course it's on my patron page if you want the video so with the video you get scriptures you get to see what yours truly when I'm talking to camera so I do share some thoughts I pray mainly in the Holy Spirit as the Lord leads me but uh, I also share some thoughts for the day and I'm praying seriously about actually extending daily grind into a one-hour TV program so we'll see we'll see how the Lord leads I'm feeling a leading that way but not sure how to do it but how are you guys on this Spirit Soul Body vlog? Uh, you can see I'm pretty well. I've been eating too well during this pandemic. My darling wife Carol has been cooking up a storm. <laughs> and we've got a dear mom with us, which is wonderful. And it's been a privilege to have Mumshi Line, as we affectionately call her. And uh, so she's been with us. We've been really protecting ourselves, slash maybe even more Mumshi Line, because of the elderly and this whole COVID-19. And, um, but we've been eating very well, so I'm, uh, yes, you don't have to comment, I know, I've put in a little bit of weight, but, yeah, this, this is the situation, I mean, we haven't been able to get out much, we've obviously not been doing our gym membership for the last four months, <laughs> that went by the by, um, as anyone else who was part of a gym uh, club, there was no way you could go and do your, your exercise, so, kind of been doing a bicycle every day here, with my my dear Corolla pressurizing me in a positive way as our wives can so well do and uh, she's been encouraging me to do an hour on the bicycle which I, it, I I've not really enjoyed but I'm glad I do it because it's important it's good for us to actually exercise right um, I hope this is filming all right but just to say today uh, the vlog is very simple as you can see we're in the garden the benches are painted looking great and um, I'm excited about these little guys. We've got two new little tomato plants that we've bought and they're going to go in there and I'm going to put in a couple of canes here. Two canes to, or maybe three canes just so that they can climb up because these are, are vine tomatoes. They like to climb up. Ah, see, he's got a little bit of a broken leaf there. We'll take that away. Yep. So a new addition to the family, the, the grapes. The grapes are growing fantastic. And then just a quick shout out to my son in Los Angeles, Christian. I took an avocado pear pip and I put it in the soil of the lemon tree. You can see the lemon tree just growing like crazy. I mean, the guy's just gone nuts. And when I was inspecting all of the other 13 little lemon trees that have all grown from seed in the same pot, I noticed a, a indent on the, not an indent, but an outdent. I don't know what the right word for that is. My South African English murdering the English language here. 
but kind of a mound. And I scraped it away gently, and guess what? It's that avocado pear seed that I put in the ground that this white root is busy emerging, or stem. Technically, the root should be going down, so I'm not sure yet, because avocado pears, depending on how you put the seed in, they reorientate themselves and grow down, or if it's the stem, obviously, they come up. So, very excited about that. That's really the, the breakthrough news from the Vachau today. Sometimes the simple is sublime, people. I know we have real challenges in our lives in so many ways, but I encourage you and I to look at the positive and to look at the simple and, and to rediscover our relationship with Him, our Father, and to know how good God is. I mean, if I think about whenever I cut that little lemon, the fruit of the lemon, and I'm about to make lemonade or I'm about to use it in my cooking, and there are five or six seeds in that lemon, and unless they've been tampered by greedy companies, each little seed potentially could grow into a lemon tree if carefully nurtured and looked after. And uh, so I'm fascinated about this because the way this earth has been created and designed for you and I as our place of habitation, it's been designed that we can, with the right conditions, literally have an unending supply of food. I mean, just look at these grapevines. I mean, look at all these buds here. There's so many. Um, what will become wonderful, delicious grapes. And if I choose to, to squash them, they become grape juice. I mean, literally, water mixed with sunshine, and it tastes sublime. Um, I might even try a hand at making some homemade wine. Now, I hope I haven't lost all of my religious friends. <laughs> but a little wine for the stomach is very good for you. Remember, make sure you are in control, and something else is not in control of you. And many have said it in a much better way. Make sure that your habits are not controlling you, but you are controlling your habits. Um, anyway, I digress. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of Last Thursday's Daily Grind. And I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. But as I said a few moments ago, it may become a one-hour TV show. Where, yes, we'll have our, our, our time of praying in the Holy Spirit, which is what Daily Grind is. But I might actually also have... Uh, discussions, chats, scriptures. I, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I love Jesus. He is my Lord and my Savior. And I thank God for life. I also thank God for you guys. Thanks for being uh, my frequent and regular watchers of Daily Grind. I bless you wherever you're watching around the world. Uh, and now I'll hand over to Rory Alec, yours truly, at The Grinder, for a little piece of Daily Grind. From me, lots of love. Ciao for now. Well, beloved patron, a big God bless you for me, Rory Alec. Good morning to you, or afternoon, or evening, depending on whatever you're watching. We're rushing up to the weekend. I'm here at the grinder again, coming before our Heavenly Father, and I'm going to take the next few moments and pray in the wonderful, precious Holy Spirit. I pray that you're well, that the Lord has blessed you this week and is blessing you. And um, I invite you, if you would like to, pray with me for a few moments and pray in your heavenly language and let the Lord pray His perfect will in and through you for you and for your loved ones and He knows what He wants you to pray for. So yield yourself to Him and allow Him to do that. You know one thing I was sharing last week and it, it just keeps coming in my spirit is that when I'm praying in the Holy Spirit I'm literally praying the limitless uh, without limitations I'm praying with full faith I am praying exactly what the Father wants me to pray for. When we pray the perfect will of God, when we pray that which the Father wants us to pray for, He immediately agrees with it and it becomes a done deal uh, or a work set in motion. And that's something that is critical in this day and hour we live in with all the uncertainty around us with this whole crazy virus pandemic and who knows what that's all part of and I'm not a conspiracy theorist but there's just too many strange things going on on this planet I'm not surprised when I read the book of revelations and the bible and if you study the end times and you study prophecy and then that's not the debate or discussion this morning because there's many different opinions on that but I do know that this planet moves to a global 
one world government, one world currency, one world religion. And I think what we're seeing right now in 2020 is the falling apart of globalization and we're seeing the coming together of nations again. In other words, it tells me in my limited um, access to all the knowledge, from all of the research that I'm doing, I can see that it's not yet time for a one world government. It's not yet time for a one world currency or religion. And that's good news. I'm grateful for nationalist, populist moves. I think we need to reach too, too many more souls. That's really not good English, but you know what I'm trying to say. There's really many, many more that the Father wants to reach. He would like to reach every human being on this planet to acknowledge and, and to, to accept the extraordinary sacrifice Jesus made for them. You and I, as the Lord's body, are the ones who are to share the good news through our actions. And if we must, as Francis of Assisi said, speak a few words. So our lives basically preach the gospel and then people see the way we deal with crisis, they see the way we deal with circumstances that are really challenging to humanity and they ask us why are the way you are? Why do you have that calm? Why do you have that joy? Why do you have that peace? I've been asked that many times in my life and it's been the opportunity for me to share Jesus with somebody, for somebody to accept him as Lord and Savior. So. Beloved, I'm saying all of that before I start to grind this morning, that it's not yet time. I don't believe it. I think we will move to a one world currency pretty soon. I'm seeing the dynamics of technology. I'm seeing the dynamics of integration of artificial intelligence with our physical uh, anatomy. I don't think it'll be long and you'll find there'll be hookup between technology and, and AI with our physical bodies. And these are all dynamics, whether that's an implantation of a chip that therefore allows us to become superhuman. I think these are, this is not that it's impossible and it's fanciful. These are all possibilities and are currently being developed and, and researched by technical companies all over the world. It's an extraordinary hour we live in. We all hear how fragile our fiat currencies are and at some point there's going to be a wiping out of this massive debt around the planet and we're all going to have to opt into a digital currency of form when you hear of China right now doing its digital currency testing where they are, yes, they're still connecting it to their fiat paper, their, their, their currency, their physical currency, but it is the step in the right direction for a digital currency from, from their perspective also a way to control their citizens far more. So we are living in extraordinary times. The fact that you will not be able to, to buy or sell, it seems, without getting some kind of vaccine and certificate that proves that you have been inoculated against this COVID-19 virus. Again, these are all major concerns and one has to weigh up the balances of, yes, there's arguments on both sides, but are we losing our freedoms? Wow, I wasn't expecting to say all of that on this uh, Daily Grind. Daily Grind is where I'm talking with him and praying with him, and that's what I'm about to do. But I do feel this unburdening of and this download of and sharing these things with you. So to complete my, my English monologue on this Daily Grind, which is an unusual one, you and I more than ever need to pray in the Holy Spirit, to pray the perfect uh, will of the Father for my life, for your life, and for those around you, and for those that we have yet to meet. So Father, I praise you this morning. And I thank you for my dear patron who was also sensitive and aware of where we are in this day, in this hour, on this planet. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you will use us to pray your perfect will. And I also ask, Lord, that you grow my patron, that you in and of themselves by your spirit and add more to our number, I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I understand, Father in heaven, where two or three 
agree as touching any one thing. And on this daily grind, we agree and touch on the fact that we pray in the Holy Spirit for a few moments each day, Lord, that your perfect will is released. I know, Father, in my spirit, man, and with my understanding, I am assuming there are millions upon millions of like-minded Christians, my brothers and sisters around the world who are doing the same thing. And I thank you for that. I praise you for that, Father, that we are praying in the Spirit before we pray with our understanding that we might pray the perfect will of God. Come, let me grind. And let's take these next few moments to pray in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, beloved, morning, noon, or night, now we pray.